Hello everyone. So today I want to show you how to change the ownership of a page. And this is something that I mentioned in my update video. It's a new feature in Confluence and I believe it is really useful. Uh, and I really appreciate that we have this option now to change the ownership. So what you can do now, whenever you're looking at the page, you just need to click on uh, basically these uh, options here, like three dots, and uh, you will find this option called change owner. This option is also there, uh, I believe, uh, if you go to more actions and then uh, select change page owner. And uh, it is very simple. All you need to do, you need to type in the name of the user. So let us say I want to select my other account and then I can, of course, uh, click on a button, change owner. And that is it. It is, of course, uh, not, I mean, nothing happened. And uh, in a way, it is uh, quite quick. And you can see here that uh, last owned by Ravi Sagar and created by Ravi Sagar. So you can actually just change the user if you want. It's very simple. Maybe we can uh, try, uh, what else? Do I have any, any other user? I think I do have, I should have one more user. Let me just, uh, I'm looking for a test user. Wait, so not this one, come on. I'm just trying to change it one more time. If I can uh, find, the, find a user, maybe I'll just use a Jira data recovery. And uh, okay, this person doesn't have access to this page. But it's in, it, it is actually, you know, in a way a good thing. So you can only change this uh, you this this owner if that owner has access to this particular page. So very simple, useful, nice feature. I quite like it, and I thought I'll probably share it with everyone. You should know how it works. It is actually quite interesting because, uh, in a way, Confluence uh, is. Uh, I mean, in the, in the previous video, I talked about how to embed your Jira issues in your Confluence page. You can not only embed it, you can also change the status and you can also control uh, how this issue is uh, viewed. But changing ownership is uh, really useful for cases where the person has left the company and you want to change the ownership. So uh, it can be a bit annoying to manage these kind of situations, but uh, fortunately now we have a way. I hope it is also possible using REST API. Maybe, uh, you know, we'll take a look at it and uh, we'll uh, probably try to do it using using APIs. Anyways, that is it. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.